all the treats. Mm -hmm. Candy, the treats. That's right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Easter here in 20 minutes. Spring recess, as they call it at my school. Spring recess, bro. <laughs> I guess people that aren't, you know, Christian don't get triggered by that. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Everybody knows it's Easter. Like, surely you can just say Easter break and people are not going to be mad even if they don't practice. It's like people can say Hanukkah or people can say Ramadan or, you know, something like that. Nobody's going to get, like, triggered. I don't know. It's just, it's goofy, but... UT is just like, you know what, we're just gonna not even go there. It's like, because, I mean, it, people say happy holidays sometimes instead of Merry Christmas because there are other things, especially like Jewish holidays, around that same time. So it's like, I'll still tell people Merry Christmas if I know that's what they, you know, prefer. But it's like, there is an alternative right there. But with this, there's no alternative. Like, it's just Easter. That's the only thing I think that's going on right now. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe there's something in some other religion, but I don't know. It's just a lot of, a lot of PC out there. I mean, I, I'm all for not hurting people's feelings and stuff like that. But I think sometimes we go a little too far. But yeah, I kind of laughed about it. I'm like, all right, guys, have a good spring recess or something. And some dude in the back was kind of laughing. He was like, happy Easter, Mr. Boats. I was like, yeah, you too, man. <laughs> I'm going to smell them. Every day will be a holiday. Mm. I think part of what makes holidays special is as they are kind of limited time. I do think maybe there could be more. Just reasons for family and friends and stuff to get together. Mm. I've heard Jinx is really OP on this patch. I guess we're about to find out. Um... Yeah, especially school. I wish, I mean, they were kind of doing a, uh, thinking about doing like a year-round school thing. But I think, honestly, the parents don't want that more than the kids. Where it's like, you know, if every two months they're off for three weeks or something, it's like the parents have to figure out what they're supposed to do for child care. Versus summer, it's all just kind of in one place. You can just send them somewhere, right? Some kind of camp or grandma's house or whatever for a while if you have to easy to like plan trips so I think it's worse for educational outcomes for kids because they just forget so much stuff over three months but I think there's just so much more that goes into the schools than just actually teaching them send them to factories now if you sent them on some kind of internship obviously that'd be for older kids probably but I think they should start that like earlier just like not have them maybe work, but like check stuff out, do more field trip type of stuff. Maybe start in middle school or something. Okay. Oh yeah, we didn't get into. Roy, hey. Rory's here, but hopefully she's not paying too close attention, but we didn't get into the traditional place where she <laughs> has been going during the summer, because they sent in this, like, they kind of confused, and they keep confusing my wife especially, and me as well to some extent. It's like, they'll send these mixed messages. Oh, no. <laughs> about Rory where it's like they'll say oh she needs you know she needs some help with this stuff and like look at her standardized test score and she's in like you know the 90th percentile or something on reading or whatever a 90 their 90 to 100 scale it's kind of weird and then it's like the average 
student in Tennessee is at like a 40. Um, and they were just like, what? And then they recommended this at first. I think this was last year. They recommended this like extra tutoring or something while she was in her after school daycare. And it was like free. And we're like, why are you recommending this? So, like the other people in this are like ESL kids, like kids where English is not their first language. Like what? And then we saw that it was something like, like handwriting could be a reason why a teacher might recommend it or like some other dumb shit. And I was just like, okay, whatever. It's like free tutoring. Um, and then they sent out something for summer school. I mean, that's what I said he would, and that's why she's been grounded for three months. Why didn't she get 100? Um, God. I've known people who parents would, you know, ground them or punish them for not getting an A on something if they got a B or a B plus. Um, but, anyways, they were like, <laughs> yeah. My mom was too nice about that kind of stuff for a little bit because I was like taking easy class my freshman year and I was like getting B's and some of my friends are getting B's and stuff. My mom's like, oh, good job because she, you know, struggled so much in school. And it's like, cool. But then some of my other higher performing friends I have are like, why'd you get a B in physical science? They're like, dude, you know you can get an A in there. You're just being lazy. And I was like, yeah, you're right. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, so I like stepped it up. Um, so yeah, it was like it was cool that my mom was really supportive at a certain point, and that's good. But I don't know. Some kids need to be pushed. Some kids need to be praised. Different times, you just gotta find your moment. Were you gonna say something, Jason? I can't remember. I'm, 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 just, <laughs> I'm actually just getting tilted off the amount of CS I'm actually missing here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, it's all good. It's early days. Thrust it back. Um, unreal. All right, I need to focus up. What is happening here? <laughs> but yeah, so they they talked about summer school, and it was just like we're inviting your kid to summer school, and I was like, wait a minute. Is this summer school remedial? I was like, that's... Back in my day, that was for kids that you basically failed. And to get credit for something you need credit for, you had to you got to go to summer school. But they were like, we couldn't tell from the way it was worded if it was just towards Rory or if it was towards, like, all students for some reason. And I'm like... Do they just have to say it's available for all students? Is that just like part of it? So that it doesn't, so it seems welcoming or something? It was just very confusing. I'm like, look, is she doing so bad that she needs that or not? Um, Roy, no hand in pants, hey. So it was just confusing, but it was also at the at the daycare they are just like oh we'll hold your spot is what they had said um in an email if you were already part of it during the school year they would quote unquote hold your spot for summer and so she was like well i'm gonna try to get clarity on what the summer school thing means and if we actually need to do it before i make a decision on the daycare because they're at the same time and she was like i don't want to be paying you know hundred dollars plus a week for daycare if she's just going to be in school for that time um most of the time but then so she waited like three days on the daycare thing and they didn't get back to her and then she's like well i guess i'll just sign up for daycare and then they said it was full so they like didn't hold her spot and then it turned out that the summer school was not required, which is something they sent out to everybody. So she's kind of pissed about that. But one of the more annoying things now is like, 
We got her in another daycare, but it's further away. It's not like super far away, but it's like an extra 10 minutes in the morning and at um, at night, really. And, but then you have to drive back, right? So it's 20 minutes each way. Yeah, I know. She's right to be pissed about it, but I don't know. I mean, I don't want to pile on, right? But it's like really what should have happened is she should have just signed up for the daycare and then just canceled it or dropped out or whatever. Um, later that week if she figured out that Rory had to go to summer school and she said she thought about that but that they said they would hold it and I'm like well but I mean she was so pissed about it I'm like I'm not gonna try to correct her on that <laughs> but we eventually you know once she kind of cooled down a little bit off that we kind of you know figured out that was probably the best thing to do in the future if something like that comes up But yeah, it is annoying. Are you back on the dirt plan now? Um, so I was watching it. I'm trying to build... Um, I saw double lift doing. Okay. Brad showed me. Okay. I thought Shiv was looking really good, but it is gonna. It may not be as good later next week. But I don't know. Yeah. I'm just gonna try it this time, and if I, I'll go back to Shiv next game. Can I, I don't think I can queue the dragon from there. I think I have to be directly behind it. Maybe should have queued it just for the health, but this thrash is pretty easy to hit with queues. Jungler might be coming, I'm gonna... That's cool, we got all the sums. Yeah, yeah actually, Jungler was there. So... What? Uh, is mid laner coming? Yeah. No. Oh my god. She have ult or anything? <laughs> Holy shit. You gonna execute? That's annoying. Oh my god, Thresh had like 5 HP. here probably well Kamoi I mean I know it sucks when you have feels like you're constantly getting bad teammates on your team but you gotta be able to All right, you, the thing you gotta remember is it's always symmetrical over time over a lot of games the enemy's gonna get feeder on their team they're gonna get People that first time, they're going to get trolls, you know, they're going to get all this bad stuff. Nice. I know it doesn't feel like that in the moment, but that's just something you always got to remember is that there's really, unless you duo with somebody, there's only one common denominator in every game and that's you, right? So I know it's a tough thing to face. And, a lot of the problem is, like, <clears throat> a lot of the stuff that really holds people back is not the really obvious stuff. Like, 
massive mistakes that you make. Sometimes it's that. It's like, oh my god, I just missed smite on Baron, or I just threw this or that. But a lot more often, it's very subtle things that you may not even notice. Like, things that you sh could have been doing, but that you're not doing. Hey, you want to kill her if you get in this bush? Absolutely. Yeah, just come over here and creep in this bush with me. She won't, she won't see it coming, I don't think. She'll come back. She'll come back. I got it at night in three seconds. Okay. Okay, here we go. Shit, my bad. I, that ignite got her. I didn't think it was going to be enough. Oh, wait, I can get one more plate. I know it is but again you got to look at longer term you got to say yeah there's gonna be some games that are unwinnable right for me I just I can't do it there's gonna be people that are chain feeding but you got to win those games that are kind of winnable right you got to make sure you're not the person going 0 and 6 but then also you gotta I mean we've won games on here with like top laners that are like 0 and 12 I mean you can't do it all the time but sometimes you can um I think we're really close to tilting the jinx out. Probably. Hopefully. They just got dragon, so Diana's bot. Yeah, I mean dude, I just called. I just have to Of course he's there. I've literally pinged he was gonna be there. <laughs> All you have to do is not die. Literally that's it. Just sit back and wave clear. I can probably get away. I'm just going to put some wards down. Right. Tell that's my bot lines. I mean, I'm telling you. Okay, look. Very basic logic, though. Anytime you're thinking it's rigged or whatever, ask yourself, when is the last time that a challenger ended up in iron from a previous season? Right? If the game really was luck, there would be challengers who get stuck in, like, bronze or iron or silver. Right? But they always find a way to win. jumped into that. So it's like, if it if that doesn't happen, right, then that means it's not random. That there is skill. No. I'll guarantee, because their MMR is good, if you give them a fresh account, I'll guarantee you they're not going to get stuck in iron or bronze. There are so many challenges, not even challengers, right? Like diamond people that do like unranked to diamond. That it's just, it's not luck over time. There's going to be, again, some games that are not going to be fair, right? That are not going to feel good. But if you're playing like 200 games, then it's going to even out, right? It's going to be on the other team too. Oh, nice. Gangster. Oh, Kale's gonna be mad about that one. So I know it like sucks to hear that, but you know, you can climb if you're consistently playing better than other people in your elo. You just have to focus on like what's something you could do better. And a lot of that is stuff that nah. Stuff that you're not doing that you could be doing, like punishing people, right? When they're out of position, making smart engages on them. 
it seems like it's gonna be bad. I think we just we I think we went out, guys. Don't know why Lux would bought that I don't know. Just reset. Just let it reset. I need to go get wards too. No, fresh accounts don't have good MMR, man. <laughs> They're not going to have challenger MMR. You don't go 5-0 in your placements and get in a challenger. I mean, you can believe what you want, man, but I'm telling you, like, it's just one of those things where it's like you just don't see what you're not doing. I think that's the biggest thing. And it's okay if everyone's not challenger, you know what I mean? Like, it's weird in League, we just think, oh, it's totally possible for everyone to be challenger or everyone to be pro. You just have to, like, play enough games and, um, or actually, I guess we can just go down here. It's fine. Just so have to play enough games, study enough film or whatever, but it's like... But it's like, it just may not be in the cards for everybody, and that's okay. Like, we don't think that about other stuff, like physical things, right? We don't think like, oh, if I just play enough basketball games at the YMCA, I'll be able to go pro next year. It's like, no, I fucking won't. <laughs> There's just natural limits to some things. We just think that with mental stuff, it's different, but... Um, you know, everyone can't be challenger, literally. There's a hundred people. It's competitive. The goalpost is always moving. You know, what got you a high rank in Season 7 is not going to be enough to get you a high rank now. So, I, I think a lot of times we seem to get away from the mentality that it's like you can't have fun at a game or whatever. There's like no hope if you're not constantly climbing or playing it at a challenger level. Can we get... Let's get Rift. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this mid or not. God, just get the tower. Okay, now let's get Rift. So, I don't know. That's all I can tell you, man. But at the same time, you know, if the game is causing you... A lot of you know mental distress and you're just not having fun with at the end of the day you can play something else too that's fine so you know your experience is your subjective experience I am telling you that you can climb though but it's just gonna be tough you know because it's a very competitive game it's gonna be that way with any game that's team-based right like I don't play a lot of Call of Duty or Dota or anything else that's a team based game. If you look at like basketball and stuff like that too, or football, right? You can have really good players that just don't win all the time, right? Because it's a team game. Like Aaron Donald, right? He won like one, um, one Super Bowl. A lot of people consider him the best defensive player the last, you know, 10, 20 years. I got a back. Careful for a sec. Yeah, they have so much dive and engage. It's really hard if I'm not there. I think we're about to throw.
Yeah, we also was back. Like I was backing. Nobody was there. They're all grouped. I mean, I got. Yeah. Yeah, we got to keep an eye on Wax though. She's kind of wild card. Yeah, I think just muting, you know, if you get tilted by what other people are saying, and I do, even though they very rarely personally attack me, occasionally, um, just saying stuff that is going to bait me, right? Like saying, hey, be more aggressive here, or whatever, like... <clears throat> ...will get me to do stuff that I know I shouldn't be doing. Like, that's my biggest risk. So I'm kind of a people pleaser, you know? We don't have Renekton. I don't have ult. Let's push this tower. I don't know where she went, but she was low. I think. They're gonna be spawning, so we probably gotta back up after this. Uh, get this Gromp scuttle, maybe. Okay, my ward's still there. Should be fine. I'm a little on man. I've got some gold, but I, I, yeah, it's gonna be here in 20 seconds. So, oh yeah, I guess we can kill these guys. If, yeah. Let's just get dragged. So yeah, I feel you. I know it sucks. But, I mean, sometimes you just got to try to control what you can control. Like, there's a lot of stuff in life you really can't control. You know what I mean? But there's also quite a bit that you can, to some extent. Or, like, train yourself. Especially mental stuff. Yeah, I mean, you just kind of dealt with your genetics. You're dealt into a certain situation, you know. We kill her at blue here. It's not A-Ram them. <clears throat> I'm kind of low on mana. Diana's dead, though. We just got to watch... Jinx rockets down. I don't... I mean, Talon could try to creep in, but... I think we're just gonna get it. Very slowly. <laughs> That's still really good, though, John. John says he could not have gone pro because he couldn't hit a 90 mile per hour curveball. <laughs> But I think, you know, it's good to be competitive. It's good to want to be really good at stuff. But it's also okay to just recognize sometimes, you know what? I'm doing all right. I've, I, you know, I enjoy what I do. I'm decent at things that I enjoy. Like, I have a good time. I mean, there's some stuff where I'm not even that good. And I get my ass kicked all the time just playing some things with friends where they're way better than me at it. But I still have fun with it because I'm just, like, hanging out, you know, with friends and stuff. 
Now, obviously, that's with friends, though. That's not with, like, the League community. I'll be honest. I probably would not play League as much as I did. Almost certainly would not, uh, you know, if I wasn't playing with, Jan uh, like, Jason and or didn't have a channel. I would still probably play it some like I did before, but... Nah, bruv. Oh my god, so close. Oh, sh fuck. I didn't have my- if I had my Knight's Vow on you, you would've lived. <laughs> I was talking and forgot to activate it and put it on you. It's my bad. She killed you, like, mid-jump, too. If I got that shield on you, you would've lived. And, like, mid four shot would've killed her. Yeah. It was rough. But if I just had the Knight's Vow on there, it definitely would've been a win. It was basically one and a half v three there, though. So that was something right there. It'd be easy to like m come up with some kind of excuse. I think just try like radical honesty about most things. Like try to take responsibility for stuff, even if you don't think you should. Like I think that was almost definitely my fault, but. Um, you know, just try that too. There's no harm in trying to find ways to improve yourself even if you're not quote-unquote at fault for whatever's going on, right? Like, the worst-case scenario if you do that is you just improve. Um, that's something that I kind of struggle a little bit with my daughter. Is like, she really hates to be wrong about stuff or hates to admit that she's wrong. And part of that's because we're always tell her, oh, good job, that's great, you know, and all this. So the positive reinforcement is good, but then the risk is also that... Wrecking him. Um, <laughs> but then the risk is, you know, could be a little overconfident, so... It's really just embracing, like, challenges. That's that's the big thing that I just kind of do by default, but... Shit. Damn it, I fucking locked my camera. Okay. Um, and she just doesn't want to do stuff that's, like, challenging. She's like, I don't want to do that. I'm like, oh, that'd be cool. Let's see if we can overcome this. Like, sometimes... But she really just kind of wants everything to be easy. I think that's a huge thing. Is to try to encourage people to embrace challenge and want to overcome it. The self-efficacy. Or whatever. Internal locus of control. Nice. Good job. I mean, I do think money helps with a lot of things, but, you know, sometimes that can't give you the motivation and purpose that you need. I mean, there's lots of rich people that have a hard time, too, with stuff. The more money, more problems type of thing, but I think people would rather have rich problems than poor problems <laughs> most of the time, but 13 and 5, smurfing on them. It's not super common on Gen, I don't think, but I mean, I like it. It makes sense. It does make sense. Like, it won't make sense to someone that's not who doesn't play to carry. Like, dude, what the hell is he doing? Uh huh. Well, it's yeah. Wave clear is just like super strong. You just, incidentally, like, just hitting everybody for an extra 100, 150 damage, whatever it is, in team fights too, is a big deal. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, that is the, that's the item that Lolalytic says. I mean, Doublelifts does almost no research on anything. I mean, he just kind of does whatever he thinks is good. I, I think. He doesn't do a lot of research on stuff. So, he might just be clinging to an older thing. Or he might just be thinking if you're snowballing hard, like, Lethality. If you get Dirk, that is a much more powerful item, I think, than... Early. Yeah. yeah, almost anything else. It's like it's... Even though they nerfed it, Lethality is still a turbo OP stat. Mm, I'm gonna ban Smolder. I mean, we ban like what did I do? Blitz or something, or just something else you don't want to play against. Ari Blitz. I kind of want to play against Ari. She's pretty annoying. She's pretty popular. Ghost Blade is still the most popular, but Static Shiv has a higher win rate. I just think uh, it's 90 damage. And minions take 150. But it's just so cheap. You get it so early. What is Ghostblade? 3k? No, Ghostblade's pretty cheap too. It's 2700. So let's see. It has 10 more AD. You get attack speed, which is not great, but that does convert over to AD. And I think an equivalent rate. So that's like. I think attack speed is 15 gold each. That's 450. So that's more than 10 AD conversion. I'm pretty sure. So it's going to have more AD than Ghost Blade. And it has crit. So yeah, Lethality is good early, but crit stacking is um, a lot better. Um, especially on Jin. I don't remember all his bonuses to crit. Does he get like extra movement speed when he crits? I think he gets movement speed. He has a lot of bonuses with crit. Attack damage equal to... 44% of his AD. Uh, yeah, probably. Um... Uncastle wind up. Critically strikes. Bonus physical damage for missing health. Okay, yeah. Anytime you crit, you get extra movement speed and a little bit of bonus for every 1% bonus attack speed. That's pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, like Shiv, those stats look pretty good on him. I mean, his base, his uh, um, critical strike, like Static Shiv, yeah, yeah. looks to me like it's probably better than Ghost Blade. It depends on how much good use you make of that active, but yeah. they nerfed it so much. I, uh, let's see, John says, I knew an MLB player for the Twins that knew John Smoltz back in the day. I had him pitch for me for fun. I couldn't hit anything. I tipped a foul ball, and that was it. Yeah. It's really anything that's, like, super competitive, man. When you get up to, like, the very top tiers, it really does start to go, like, parabolic. Like, the skill level. That's why people say, like, challengers are just, like, insanely better than even Masters players. Which seems kind of silly, because it's like they're so close together. But it's like, that gap just gets crazy. It's like, you know, the gap between a high school player and a college player. And then a college player and a pro player. The college to pro is just, like, insanely higher gap than high school to college, I feel like. For anything. And then between, like, NBA, you start talking about the turbo elites of NBA, like people that are warming the bench versus something like LeBron James. That's going to be insane, right? Or even good players, right? Like Michael... Sorry, what are you saying? The Teemo blind shot, it's not even good against me, is it? Uh, I mean, it'll stop your autos, but you've still got your grenade and um, your W. Gotcha. Your ult, okay. yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I just don't feel like it's a shitty support and we're going to run him over, but we'll see. I mean, we got to try to respect it. Early on, he can do quite a bit of damage. He didn't take air. He took Dark Harvest, so that's good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to feast on these guys. Nice. I showed a, uh, <laughs> I was talking to my students about this. Um, the, did you guys ever see the Brian Scalabrini, the Scalenge? Um, if you guys don't remember Brian Scalabrini, there's probably a good reason for that, but <laughs> he played for Boston in the 2000s. I only remember him because I was a big Lakers fan. And like when the Celtics played the Lakers in a lot of those playoff series, <coughs> He would come in and guard Shaq, quote unquote guard Shaq. But yeah, he was like basically a career, like three points per game player. Just like this big white guy. <clears throat> so he was not great by NBA standards. But people would like talk shit to him out in public. And so eventually, like, oh man, you suck or whatever. He's like, all right, we'll play me one on one. So they made like a little show out of it for a minute, like a little mini series, the Scallenge, where he would take on anyone that wanted to play him, and he even played against like some college people. Now yeah, back up, back up. It's fine. Just take little trades. We've got a heal. They don't. Um. And yeah, he just absolutely annihilated everybody, including college players. And this is when he was like, in his like. 40s <laughs> versus like 20 somethings. I don't know if Timo's there or not. He's this guy's stepping way up. I don't have my shield yet. Now I've got it. If he steps up for this, it's fine. But yeah, it's just like the skill gap is just insane. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, role players are important. Not everybody can have the ball 24-7. You gotta have people that make really good contributions without the ball. Or with fewer touches, fewer shots. Everybody needs the defensive guy. Most great teams need that hardcore D guy that doesn't need a lot of points. Everybody needs, like, some spot-up three-point shooters. Basically, yeah, I mean, the, the Bulls are a great example of that. You got your two really good players, your all-stars, your, pit, your um, Pippen and Jordan. Everybody plays pretty good defense. You got your spot-up shooters like Kerr. And he could be invisible in here. I think they backed, though. Yeah, they were both pretty low. We'll just go ahead and push it in. I can shield you if he pops out. Okay. Diana's coming. Yeah. Okay. Let's back it up. It's fine. Just wasting time trying to stop our back. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna get a potion because Timo does poke a little bit. I mean, stopping that back was kind of annoying. Like we are missing this way, but she's missing a lot of camps for that too. And she's. You know, a zero utility carry jungle, so. <clears throat> um, sh yeah, <coughs> I don't have a word for dragon. It's possible they're gonna 
Usually the enemy jungler will try to just immediately go for drag. I got him. Alright, I'm backing up. Fine. I would like to try to ward drag, see if we can stop it, but we really don't have priority. Careful, that's his really strong gun. Okay. Combo. He has red white. Okay, she's top actually. Nice. Okay, that was good. Yeah, once he goes off red white, we can try to fight him. Wrecked you, little squirrel. That's right. <laughs> well, what he was thinking? Just right. disrespecting. Like you can do that. Level one, level two, past level three. That's not happening anymore. Dude. So I got my full combo. He's probably back. Um, Alright, let me see if I can get a ward on drag real quick. Okay. Yeah, just try to hang on. We'll come down there and gank. Shit. This is going to potentially be weird. She is six. We're going to get sandwiched here, potentially. We got it. That ended up being pretty risky. The fuck? <clears throat> Whoa, kind of lagged a little bit there. Come back down in a second. We might be able to kill this Kali. I don't know. We might get shanked. Lux almost has her ult. I knew she'd take it. <laughs> She's just playing like she just wants the big play, you know. It's just most people. Most people want the big play rather than actually winning. They always used to call me the pinch hitter in high school. Wasn't really for baseball, but... <laughs> What's up, Itaiga? Oh, nice. You didn't really fall behind that far, considering I was gone for like two minutes. We got dragon. We got a kill. Come on, baby. Okay, got it. I don't have ult for a little bit. 
It's fine. I'm just gonna reset. I've got ult and flash. Oh my god. I was so close to that, hitting that. <clears throat> yeah, that's rough. That's tough. I mean, even if we had try warded, it'd have been tough to get out of that with no sums on Jason. Oh, oops. Should have gotten some deep rewards at some point. I want them to see me on that. Shit, come on. There we go. Uh, okay, there's Teemo. He's gonna check this or not. Yeah, he looks like he wants to. Yeah, here we go. Little fucking squirrel. I don't have ult for a little bit, but. Nice. up to but Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go. Comes back. Timu, yeah. Going hard. We need to get this soon. <clears throat> okay, Lux is. Okay, he ghosted? Sure. You got it, buddy.
Oh, you want this red? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, why are they getting that? We're so far ahead. Uh, we might be able to get her around here. tip if you see the support randomly walking around your jungle like that and he doesn't seem scared when he comes across you he's probably got backup especially obviously if you don't have any vision of anything I'm kind of low. We probably need to get out of here. I forgot I healed you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's just... We got pressure in both side lanes, but... AD, I guess, but... Okay, so... These are flame shards. This is the new flame map. So instead of exploding part of the map, it puts these little shards up. And the more of these you get, it gives you, like, ability haste. <coughs> Just ability haste. And then if you die, you drop like almost all of them like you drop some percentage that the enemy can pick up <clears throat> what Lux did she dismiss everything <coughs> We're just too squishy. We need, yeah, we needed either you or uh, a Moo probably right there. Yeah, we need to just go down and get dragged. Well, I think we maybe we try to kill this guy. He, they're, they're just gonna get the tier two. Yeah, he'll check this. Got him. All right, I'm just gonna bag. I'm so low gonna take me just about as long to walk there from here as it will the base. Yeah, if you just push mid up, rotate over there. <clears throat> well, don't let him coin flip Baron. Ping him back. Get vision or something, you know, like... Yeah, Mumu's really late. Dead, right? No, where the fuck did she go? <coughs> Get back. I don't. Okay, I don't understand how Akali got out of that.
run. Kite, kite, kite. <coughs> oh my god. Okay, well. Why did I even... Oh, I guess they had a ward in that pixel brush in mid. Um... Hmm. He's wrong about people not wanting to play support. <clears throat> At least based on what I see, because support is never autofill protected anymore. That's not there. It doesn't make any sense, right? If you're saying, if you're nerfing something because no one's taking advantage of it, because it's not good. You know what I mean? So they're not, unless I'm misunderstanding what you're saying, they're not nerfing... <clears throat> support items because it didn't work or like nobody's playing support the two least popular roles now that I've seen just probably for like the first time in history that I can remember is um, jungle jungles always like one of the least popular roles but then ADC and jungle are both like not super popular I don't know where everybody else is though Really hope they're not on bear, and that'd be awkward. Wow, are they? No. If she takes this, we can kill her. She's not gonna do it. Oh shit. Yeah, give me a jump here, just across this ridge. Okay. <coughs> Alright, get a gold card. Get a gold card, baby! Get right, yeah. Nude is not there. I can heal you. No, no, fuck him. Nice. Oh, <clears throat> uh -huh. well. Oh, did they say that in all chat or something? Yeah, I saved the second jump for when she went in, and the second shield. I mean, he didn't say you can never get negative LP gains. <clears throat> How that happens is you get, you lose a bunch of games at like zero LP or you don't get demoted. So like you lose a game, you've got three LP, you should have gotten minus 20, but you only get minus three. It stops you at zero. And then if that happens enough, um, then you're going to be getting negative LP until it catches up. It's really goofy, but... I don't know if that's worth it to kill him, but... It's a pretty short cooldown. That dragon. A little bit. Okay, can we kill this dude, maybe? doing. Yeah, let's come up here and push this up, I guess. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Sure. Alright, now she can't flash over this. Okay. Okay, we 
gotta stop Garen though. <coughs> Uh, Lux probably has him. And Amumu. Yeah, we can just push this up, I think. Kali, you wanna try? <coughs> I should have probably just hid and let her think she could go on you. Now, there might be rotations now. We don't see anyone else on the map. It's after this, we probably got it back. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I think that, um, well, like I've said, it's just like, just try to, like, sometimes it helps to relax a little bit. Like, you might just be tilting yourself off of stuff and just try to just control what you can control and just let the numbers play out, you know? Like, yeah, you're going to have feeders at some games. Try playing fewer games in a day. Right? If you just get really stressed out, but you still kind of enjoy playing, um, you know, try dropping down to like two or three games a day or something. Or take a break in between. If you feel yourself especially starting to get a little frustrated, you know, just take a little break. Just say, hey, I'm going to spend 30 minutes here and do some cleaning or... I think we can just race. We've got all the grubs. All the guys team over way player. Oh my god. Almost? Okay, nice. God. Well, you gotta figure out how to rotate to different lanes, help other lanes win, or just like press your advantage. Oh, you might have to play a different champ. I don't know, Zoe's pretty off meta. But if you get far enough ahead, you know, you gotta go influence other lanes. You can rotate. I don't know, man. Like, all I can tell you is there are ways to win. I guarantee you there are ways to win. It's just, can you see it? Because if we put a challenger in your shoes, they would find a way to do it. You know what I mean? But, you just got to try to... Just try spotting, <clears throat> you know, just like one thing you could do. Just say, okay, this game I'm going to focus on never getting ganked. I'm not going to die to gangs. You want to play one more? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to practice, you know, never dying to ganks. Or this game, I'm going to pay attention to bot lane. I'm going to try to be able to rotate down there. Um, and see if I can make an, like, find an opportunity. Right? Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but you're just, like, going to focus on it. Or, like, this game, I'm going to make sure that I have you know, a control ward on the map at all times, right? Within reason that I'm going to try to have a control ward, like always on the map. Well, I mean, if that helps you out, sure. I mean, that's the thing is like, no matter what we say, if it's like personally, you're just not having a good time, you're just not enjoying it, then that is what it is. You know, that's your subjective experience and no one can change that for you. So... But if you do enjoy it, if you do want to try to climb, there are ways to do it to a certain extent, right? Again, that's kind of like what I was talking about and what um, John was talking about 
earlier in terms of sometimes you just reach an upper limit. What did I do? And, you know, you can just decide if you're okay with that or not. I mean, I've been basically platinum, dipping my toe in a diamond occasionally for like 11 years, right? And I still, you know, I still enjoy it. I still have fun, even though I'm not climbing per se in the grand scheme of things. I still like just coming out, playing it, having a good time, right? It's like anything else that I do, right? If I go out and play basketball with people or I do some weightlifting, like, I'm never going to be world's strongest man. I'm never going to be an NBA player. Like, and that's okay. I can still enjoy those things. That's how I see it. I say that sometimes, like, it's good to be competitive and it's good to want to, like, win stuff, but it's also okay to just say, hey, I am where I am. Uh, there's just some things in life I'm just not going to be able to do. I'm probably never going to be a billionaire, you know? Um, and that's okay. I, I think that the talk about Smolder is overblown. She's not as OP as she was, but we saw a few uh, days ago she still took over a game. Like, it's not as, as oppressive as it was, but it's still really obnoxious to deal with if you don't shut her down early. I still think she's one of the better, like, scaling champs because she doesn't need a lot of items. So even if you shut her down gold-wise, if she just gets those stacks, still very effective on, like, two items. Versus, like, yeah, something like Jinx or Kog'Maw are problems, but usually they need, like, three or four items. She's still pretty good. I mean, maybe I'm overdoing it by banning her, but we just got worked by what I felt was a mediocre smolder we just got run over a few days ago just because, you know, when she gets those 225 stacks, there's still a problem. So, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't deserve to ban as much as other things. She's about 49% win rate. 48.5. Okay. Well, if that, I mean, if that makes your life happy, come on, go for it, man. I mean, you do you. Like I said, you can't really explain the. Um, you know, no one really knows what you're thinking subjectively, and that's just kind of is what it is. Well, I personally think that Freak's doing a really good job. But we can agree to disagree about that. I know people like to hate on Freak, like that's friendly, but... I mean, look at the state of the game now versus the last, like, two years before Freak took over. Just how much diversity of different champions like are out there. You know, there are definitely some that are over the top, like Smolder and stuff like that. But there's a lot of just different things that are viable, right? Like there are some, you know, tanks, ADCs, assassins, engage supports, enchanter supports, AP supports. I think that, you know, this is one of the few times there's been a very sustained balance between roles and between types of champs in different roles in my opinion. So yeah, there are always going to be some outliers on individual champions that are strong, but as far as types of champions, classes of champions, um, I think this is one of the more balanced states that it's been in. And they have addressed most outlying problems relatively quickly. I can remember kind of the Four Horsemen when they came out. That lasted almost a year with like Aatrox, Urgot, Akali, and something else. That was like... Or the... Braum and Tom meta, where those are like two of the only competitive supports that were played, it felt like, for years. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but it was certainly like half a year to a year. It feels like some stuff that's OP, a lot of it, they fix it within a few patches. Or they change it. Well, again, you're asking about a very specific champion, Zoe. Like, they're not going to be able to, like, adjust every champion, every patch. Emerald is a little weird. Um, but I love that they're at least taking a step away from the promotion series and stuff like that. Because that sucks. Like, it feels like they're actually listening to people to some extent on these things. Right? Like, they got rid of the promotion series. They're trying to make the LP gains feel more meaningful. And losses. Like, obviously they can't fix everything. They added a bunch of new, like, items and system changes and all that. It was a very 
they shook up a lot of stuff in the preseason, which I thought was pretty cool. And very little of it, considering how much they changed, very little of it was like turbo OP. And the stuff that was, like they fixed it or adjusted it pretty quickly. So I don't know. I think they're doing a good job <coughs> in the grand scheme of things. And I think most of the champions that are meta right now, again, Smolder's an exception. She's kind of getting knocked out. But most of them have been very interactive, like exciting things to watch from an esport perspective. Like Smolder is less so because he's just kind of, you know, farm off. But, um. But it's like you're not seeing Enchanter versus Enchanter bottom and pro. You're not seeing like tank versus tank top, like super often. The tank that is really popular, Cassante, is at least somewhat interesting to watch, right? Because he can get aggressive. It's not like Maokai versus Malphite top or something in most matchups. So, I don't know. I mean, if you're not enjoying it, you're not enjoying it, but I personally think that it's doing pretty well. And again, this is not like me dominating the meta. Jason and I have been doing super well over the last few days, but I don't think we can kill her yet. I'll wait till next chance. We got her barrier. <clears throat> I'll save Mike Knight for next time I get her. I could have maybe traded Ignite for Flash. Maybe I should have done that, but we might be able to kill her here. I thought you were kind of already out of juice because you already used your W. And... But yeah, I think the game's in a pretty good state, especially compared to where it was. I think last season it was like just too much damage, like way too many assassins and things like that. Nice, there we go. No, no, no. I don't. It's too many minions. Okay. I didn't know where Jungler was either. Okay, he's top, though. Okay, if I get him here, I got my shield in six seconds. He uses another card. I missed him. That's all good. And they have tried to make different champs viable in different roles, right? Like, they've tried to make TF. Like, they're just experimenting more with stuff. They're like, hey, let's try Rel Jungle. Hey, let's try TF ADC, you know? And sometimes it gets a little too powerful or they have to walk it back. Like, they're kind of backtracking on the Rel Jungle, I think, a little bit. Which I don't fully agree with that. Maybe it's too oppressive in pro. I don't know the win rates, but... And some people are mad they're walking back Rel from Jungle, but... They're trying to add some diversity and, like, refresh some champs. Where they can, if it's not, like, a super balanced problem. <clears throat> but there has been, like, more goofy stuff, I think, that's been relevant. Shit, I missed. We gotta run. Jungler's coming. Yeah, just run, just run, just run. He's gonna try to... Okay, and they healed. Nice. Mm. We got a kill and an assist. I got it, but you still got half of it. We get top. Jungler's off the map. We get two sums. I think that's definitely a win. Yeah, there's no way I could have saved you on that, but... I'm back. Uh, well, I don't know, man. I've been talking to you about this for years. <laughs> and I under, I definitely understand the frustration, but... Again, the, e the easiest, simplest way that I can explain to anyone who thinks that League is ultimately that your rank is has anything to do with luck in the long run is that you never see challengers stuck in, like, silver. Right, if it was luck, they would be there. Pro players would get stuck in bronze. But if you look season after season after season, almost all high-level players still play at a high level. 
Like, there are people who might drop from Challenger down to, like, Diamond or something, right? If they haven't played in a while or they're just getting kind of older or something, but, um, you know, for the most part, Alright, let's go see if we can help her with this. Damn, gold card, that's fine. I shouldn't use my ignite on that. It's alright. Run. <clears throat> LCS EU and AD. Maybe way back in the day, but that's just someone choosing to let someone else go pro. There was a uh, like a girls team where the people were a lot lower than expected. Like there was a platinum on that one team, but that was just more of a publicity stunt than anything. It's like a team, some Russian team that wasn't very profitable. I'm not six yet. Nice, that was a good shot. And we got our bear here. Oh yeah, I got it. What? What did she throw at me that killed me? Darkened daggers? I should have flashed it. I thought she was out of cooldowns. I'm just not like super familiar with that champ. She hasn't been meta for so long. But I should have flashed it. Or is it is it targeted? Is it even possible for me to flash it? It didn't look like a skill shot. Well, that's fine. How is a man gonna... Yeah, well, if you don't have time to play it a lot to get good, like you're saying, to play at that level, like... Then... Why would you be able to play at that level? You know what I mean? It does... Once you start getting up to a certain point, you do have to put a lot of hours in. Usually. Just like anything, to get good at it, it takes time. If You know, you can't just log in and play a couple hours, probably. To make serious progress in something. Well, there's always going to be problems matches that don't feel fair even if you're in challenger right like is this warded kind of out of wards uh i guess i'll put that one there <clears throat> just to keep track we got five we're gonna get six again grubs that'd be nice I don't know, but no matter what it is, like you just gotta remember it's always gonna be symmetrical. Right? There's gonna be some games where you have feeders, and there's gonna be some games where the enemy has feeders. But you just will remember the feeders on your team and just not notice or forget the feeders on the enemy team a lot more often. Alright, my TF's just annoying. Yeah, that's fine. It is. Yeah, that's all right. I, it's hard to get through her with barrier and her ult and everything in one rotation. We gotta. I held my ignite. We might be able to get him next time though. The far he's creeping. Barrier two. 
Did she just bury her? Okay, I thought she did it earlier. Okay. Lafari is around here somewhere. Yeah, I saw him. I don't have any. I got a ward up here I can use. Okay. Yeah, she's right. We've been getting weeks at it all these games too, and we're still doing pretty well. What's up, Hell Nah? There she is. I've almost got old. Oh. Okay. Uh, she's coming with her little. See if they overstay. I think they're creeping around. That's warded though. Let's push this, I guess. Yeah, they used. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That is a nice thing about Rakan, too, is like the W. Sometimes you can just wade clear better than almost any other uh, tank support. Oh, God. It's not even close. Zoe? Trading my old for Ignite's probably fine. It takes a lot of pressure off Nico. I want this blue. Alright, see you, Kaboy. Hope you feel better, man. Okay, it's all good. If you ever want to come back, we'll be here. Um, I'm okay with Darius. He is, you know, he can feel really strong in the right circumstances, but... God. God, she took like two or three shots. That's rough. Dog's probably on the way. Here, cover me real quick. I'm gonna see if I can get this. Maybe a bad idea, but... Annoying. I got rift up I there. These wards down. See if I can get her. I've got ten seconds on ult though. Uh, I think she sniffs it out. We'll just get that, and then where's Val? We got buff jungle. I think jungle's fine. I think jungle's extremely influential. Like the problem with jungle is that people don't want to play it because it's really hard to play mentally and um, socially. Like people just. 
flame you so much. But I think that if you're good at it, it can still be very influential. I don't have ult though. But yeah, in pro play it's good, and really high level play it's good. I think that it's it's fine. I wouldn't do any like sweeping buffs or nerfs to jungle. Sworded. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta ward over here a little bit. Yeah, just let them push that in and I'll come back down. Ideally, we have my ult for this team fight, so probably don't want to use it right here. Shit, just run, just fuck, uh, it's gonna be bad. Oh my god! What was that CC? I have mercs! I was CC'd for three seconds with mercs? How ignited. Wow, okay. That's crazy. I got one of those. We did get top tower though. Oh yeah, I do need to get heal cut. Soraka. Maybe I get that next. I need my love to hurt. Here. Don't apologize for it. I feel good. I got a flash. She have static shit? What the fuck was that AoE damage? Oh my god. That silence, man. So annoying. Yeah, I think jungle is just a problem of skill diff, and like, like I said, I think it's mostly a social problem in solo queue. This fucking healing is annoying. Let me go kill any of these guys, or... Uh, alright, Renekton's coming down. Stop him. 
getting this, maybe. Yeah, never mind. Oh my god, what is that little fucking shuriken shit? I know that's one of her abilities. I still don't know if it's targeted or not. That didn't look targeted because he hit me through the wave. Or she did. Yeah. Well, he's kind of matching side right now, but yeah. Yeah, if he if we group for Baron or something, we definitely want him frontline and stuff. This, the next thing is Dragon in a minute. He doesn't have his TP, so we gotta be careful. Could be a 4v5 bottom. Okay, they're just gonna give Orn tower. We can stop backs. Okay, nice. He gave you the Big Daddy Infinity Edge. Yeah, he did. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I gotta remember not to sit on my legs here. It's gonna fuck my knees up. I gotta do deadlifts later. <laughs> Far EQ is the skill shot. Okay, well, I guess I just gotta get good and dodge it. Same. Okay, yeah, if we can kill that and get a bear in here, push this up, and then we can rotate up and see if we can kill her. I'm like 90% sure they don't have any wards to here. Got that one control ward. Okay. Ari's coming. We get the. I think we get it fast enough. No, stay on it. 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 Okay, now just roll out. Uh, I guess Briar's dead. That's fine. Or. She's dead. <laughs> if I made it, I'm sorry. 
No, no, that's correct. I should have just left earlier, too. And then she started to turn it, and I was like, well, maybe, but no. It's all good, John. Yeah, sorry about that. When you spam stuff, sometimes it just kind of looks like it's a bot. <laughs> No, I appreciate it. And um, how Nanas gets excited about stuff sometimes and his spams. But <clears throat> oh, I forgot to get the. Uh... Where was that? Oh, it's on Tia. Forgot to get the heel cut, but I should have definitely gotten it instead of this last Kindle gem. <clears throat> Hopefully, it doesn't matter too much though. Oh, nice! I got the big locket here. to see it getting a mid dash for at least 10 likes. It's all good, hell not. I appreciate you wanting to promote it, but it's totally fine. It's just, you know, the 10 to 20 skeleton crew. I'm all good with that. Close-knit crew of the homies chilling. Man, that's like, I don't know, eight in a row, nine in a row, ten in a row for us. Let me see. Well, that's got to be it for me, though. I got to get up. <laughs> we got to go to a lunch thing, Easter lunch thing. But um, that's all good. That was some good wins, man. Yes, sir. I'll catch you next time. Happy Easter. Tell the uh, family I said happy Easter. Same. Too. All right. See you, man. Sorry. I didn't mean to shut it off all of a sudden there, um, the stream. So happy Easter, everybody. I meant to shut down Discord, shut down OBS instead. But... Um, Happy Easter, everybody. Um, thanks for coming out, John, Hellnod, Delaby. As always, great to see you guys. Um, I should still be back tomorrow. There's a chance I may not be able to get on if I have to do a lot of, um, still have a lot of paper grading, but I'm hoping I can get most of that done before, um, before the stream. But anyways, that's it. Thanks. Have a good day, and we'll see everybody next time.